This is a sample application built with the new Alpha Anywhere tablet optimized forms capability. You see it running here in a browser on an iPad. It could also be delivered as a hybrid app using PhoneGap. The application shows one way you could build a form for recording the results of an automobile inspection. It shows some of the level of customization you could do to display and edit form-like data. We'll start by um, adding a new record. Let's go in and look at it. And we have at the top here uh, controls for editing. It's the inspection date that it's asking for. Down here you can see parts of the form. Um, and you can choose the date this way. You can get to today with the today button. There's more information up here. I could find out about what I need to do in terms of what date. Uh, let's just leave it for today. We'll type the inspector's name in. We've got the normal keyboard comes up. And the inspector is Dan B. And uh, let's um, type in the owner. And the owner is uh, uh, Jim Jones. Now the phone number, that's just numbers. So uh, we put up a uh, numeric keypad for that. And uh, 617 555 2548. It automatically puts in the, uh, the hyphens. Go to the next field. Uh, this, these are custom editors uh, that are built using Alpha Anywhere. And um, we'll go with Toyota and the model type in Prius. Uh, Prius. And the model year is 2009. And just double tap here to get blue. And it's Massachusetts. And license plate. Uh, here we bring up a custom keyboard. And the custom keyboard has numbers and letters together. Uh, there's no need for shifting because that's, that's all uppercase. So it's, let's say, A5V12D. And we, uh, we have arrow keys and the next button. Uh, so uh, I can move back and forth up here. I can also tap on it to get to the place I want. Um, and let's uh, go to the next field, the VIN number. I'll just make one up for here. Not gonna... And it knows when you've hit the number of characters necessary. Uh, go next. Odometer 44586. Next, now we're on the next part um, of the form. And here we can look at the front wiper braids. Are they in good shape? This is details about it. Uh, we can do pass or fail. We'll pass this one, pass. This can get kind of tedious, uh, but you can also just swipe on them like this to, um, to set the values. And uh, let's say in this case that we want the tail lights to fail, you swipe the other direction, swipe this direction, you know, swipe whichever way. It makes it nice and easy. Uh, you can customize it to be that you just hit pass, pass, pass up here if you want. You have complete control of this because it's, it's completely programmable. Um, and the other section over here has even more. It has more of these pass, fail, but it also lets you type in some numbers. So let's say the, uh, the tread, the, is 32 and the pads uh, let's see it's still nine it's got nine etc and you can see how it fills this out appropriately um, and we can do these and hit this one rpm is that's 950 and finally we're in the last section the last section here I can type in uh, instructions or paste in instructions maybe from emails that came from the customer to put that in uh, I can also uh, take a photo, or in this case, I'll take it uh, from a library. And here I have a, uh, a photo of uh, part of the automobile. And over here, we can take notes. We can take written notes. And um, down here, whatever we write, we write nice and big. Uh, 
So car and and then doesn't notice I write big down here and it's shrunk down small over here. Uh, I can't fit much, but if I come down here and I drag it over, I can just uh, good con addition. Give in mileage. Oh, just hit, hit return. And this has undo. In fact, I can undo and redo. I have an eraser that I can erase with. We can undo that. Um, I can change the zoom level. Let's go here. Uh, say note. Note this and go here. Go full screen. And I'll draw, draw in kind of an automobile. Here's some wheels. That's the rear, that's the front. And let's get out of that. Zoom in a bit. Zoom in down here. Change to red and change to blue. Let's bring this right over here. And we can say that it has deep scratch. Finally, let's go over here and sign it. So, here you've seen ink. We have ink, we have photographs, we have text, we have checklists, and uh, we have custom types of editing. Uh, we can go back up here and we see that that's now been filled in with the right values. All of the editing controls that you've seen in this application, including the custom keyboards and keypads, as well as the checklist items, were built using normal Alpha Anywhere controls and are easily customized as you need them. The photo capturing, resampling, and uploading capability, as well as all of the ink functionality that you just seen here, is built in and highly customizable. Adding or changing items on the form is done using straightforward dialog boxes and property sheets, with optional further customization using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. For more information about Alpha Anywhere, go to www.alphasoftware.com. Thank you.